Our last type of variation is called a joint variation. In a joint variation problem, we have one variable depending upon two others similar to a combined, but in this one, we should expect them to be more of a direct variation than a mixture of direct and indirect. So here in this joint variation, we're going to have two different variables that are causing potential heat loss out of a glass window. So we're gonna be measuring the heat loss, thinking of that as our dependent variable, but we're going to be measuring it jointly based on the area of the window and the difference between the outside and the inside temperatures. Knowing that we have two variables to concern ourselves with, we would think that, oh, we're just gonna say, here's our normal direct variation. But because there are two variables that are causing potential changes in the heat loss, we need to incorporate another variable as part of that direct variation. Using letters and, excuse me, variables more suited to this problem, we can say that L, the loss of heat, varies jointly with the area of the window represented by A, and put that A here, and times D, the difference between the outside and the inside temperatures. Our next sentence of the problem gives us all of the information that we need. A window three feet wide by six feet long loses 1200 BTU per hour when the temperature outside is just 20 degrees colder than the temperature inside. Substituting in those numbers that we know, we lost 1200 BTU. We don't know what K is, that's what we're gonna figure out. We know the area of the window as a three by six window is 18 square feet times the 20 degree difference. 1200 is equal to 18 times 20 is 360. We divide both sides by 360 and we get that K is 3.3 repeating. A better way to write that would be 10 over three. Rewriting our loss formula, now knowing what K is, we still have area and we still have difference in temperature. We're gonna move on to our second part of the problem, which is now where we're going to predict the heat loss for a particular size window and difference in the temperature. So heat loss is gonna stay as our variable. We know 10 thirds as the representation for K. The area of the window as a six by nine window is 54 square feet. And they tell us that the temperature difference has dropped to 10. Evaluating that entire right-hand side, three and one third times 54 times 10, we get that we lost 18,000 BTUs, a measurement of heat loss or measurement of heat. We lost 18,000 BT, or excuse me, 1,800, excuse me, 1,800 BTUs given the circumstances of the window and the difference in the temperature. Joint variation, exactly like combined, exactly like inverse, and exactly like direct. You start by writing yourself a generic equation. You use the information provided to figure out what K is, our constant of variation, and then you use that number to determine another value of that dependent variable.